New at noon, today was sentencing day for one of the key witnesses in the Gus Bullis murder trial, and that witness left court a happy man. CBS 4's Joe Murray is live at the Broward Courthouse with the sentence. Joan? Good afternoon, Elliot and Fiorello. James Fiorello is very happy. He has nothing hanging over his head anymore, and now he says he can take that long-awaited honeymoon. He got married in March, but he's been delaying that until today. In this case, is hereby terminated. James Pudgy Fiorello, who dropped 60 pounds, has had another weight lifted as a judge commuted his sentence for his cooperation in two high profile murder trials. It's a, uh, a time period of uh, down and out, my luck, uh, nowhere to go, living on a street. And, uh, you know, I thought there were some people that could help. And uh, in turn, they were looking to hurt. And, uh, I'm just glad it's a good result at the end of the day. Fiorello testified at the murder trials of little Tony Ferrari and big Tony Moscatello, alleged mob men implicated in the gangland style murder of Miami subs founder Gus Bullis in 2001. Prosecutors say they were trying to protect income from the new owners of Bullis's Sun Cruise Casino business. It was a serious trial. Um, it's, you know, it's uh, serious people, you know, but. Uh, I can say there was concerns, but uh, at the end of the day, uh, I, I thought I'd be just fine. Fiorella testified that he got rid of the gun after the murder. And I was glad that we were able to finally clear up what his uh, actual role in this whole thing was. Fiorello, who pleaded guilty in 2012 to a conspiracy charge, served six years in jail. And now the judge has eliminated his probation. Though he's a free man now, Fiorello says he will always be looking over his shoulder. I would be lying if I said I didn't. Um, but yeah, there was times I look over my shoulder to see who's around me and, uh, you know, always be aware of my surroundings. Fiorella says he's now working in the internet car sales business. He says he's happy. And even though he may be a marked man, he says he is relieved it's all over. In Fort Lauderdale, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News. Well, thank you for that.